the starseed hypothesis, does it have any credibility? <clears throat> and my reply to that is, in ancient Sumer, the group of half-alien hybrids were referred to as the Nephilim, among other names, and associated with the Igigi, or supposedly Martian-stationed Nibiruans. In the Akkadian Atrahasis, these Igigi are tasked with building a water course and rebel against the Anunnaki in Leo, their taskmaster, lighting fire to their tools in history's first recorded labor union strike. As a result of this dispute in the myth, the Anunnaki decide to create mankind as an agricultural laborer to serve them. In the Hebrew Torah of Genesis 6, 1 through 4, it states of this antediluvian era, the Nephilim giants were in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in, to, came in unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, the same were the mighty men that were of old, the men of renown. Here, the sons of God are usually interpreted to mean the fallen rebel Anunnaki gods, or the Igigi of Mars, who sired the Nephilim as half-breed giants on the daughters of men. Nowadays, star seeds are the term used by the New Age believers for supposed half-breed offspring sired on human women by the gray aliens popular nowadays. These gray aliens are described in a similar enough way to European Dark Ages fairy folk and to the Lilin, or baby-snatching demons of the night hag Lilith in ancient Babylon, that they may be seen as a modern, demonized understanding of the once noble Anunnaki gods. However, the hybrid offspring of these gray aliens with human abductees appears to be a phenomenon more closely related to the conspiracy theory of reptilians rather than of indigo children. Also, the malformed star child skull from southwest of Chihuahua, Mexico, of a four or five year old child who died as a result of congenital hydrocephalus only serves to obfuscate the authentically ancient and worldwide practice of artificial cranial deformation or skull lengthening. In fact, the resemblance between the Kurgan culture's long skulls from the Black Sea region and the depictions of the seven Apkalu fish-headed or winged sages of ancient Mesopotamian religions is, although often overlooked, a fascinating similarity.